Our top story at 5, the Noxabee County School District may be facing an emergency takeover. In a report released today by the Mississippi Department of Education, a list of grievances goes to 200 pages. Now there's a special called meeting tomorrow in Jackson to look at the problems and talk about what's next. Our Parker King has been reading the report. He now joins us live in the studio detailing that report. Parker. Scott, it's a list to keep it brief, and the grievances on it will make the average adult think, are you kidding me? Don't take my word for it. We've got some of the highlights right here. Now let's start with the big one. The first thing we see is data reporting, and here's the big one. According to MDE's summary of findings, district staff members were asked by the superintendent and district leadership to falsify documents. Already we're off to a bad start. To go further in the report, the superintendent failed to provide educational leadership. The board failed to ensure that it provided proper governance and leadership. Moving on to another standard, it's unlawful for more than 5% of your teachers to teach out of their field. This means math teachers can't teach English and history teachers can't teach Latin. Knoxville County apparently didn't just go over that, they leaped over it. 30% of their teachers taught out of their field. Now what's worse is when you look up, you'll see that 30% of their teachers aren't even licensed. This is only the first page, people. So let's flip over to page two when we get a chance. And right here, when it came time to evaluate the school's principals, the superintendent used his own rating system. And the education department says, you can't do that. That's the main highlight of page two. Page three, we'll go in just a second because we don't have a lot of time here. It's going to flip over in just a second. There we go. Page three is more of that falsified information found in MDE's summary. In school attendance, Knoxville High School failed to report student absences as specified in the state law. And on top of that, they also failed to verify the accuracy of transmission of enrollment. And we're going to see all of those different items right here. That involves attendance, transportation, absenteeism, graduation, dropouts, and several more statistics. That means there are no accurate numbers of how many students are really enrolled in class, making, passing, making a passing grade or even eligible to graduate. Folks, that is only three of the seven pages in MDE's summary report, and I'm only listing the highlights. If you tune in to WCBI News at 6, I'll go over the last four pages of the report. Until then, I'm going to.